Hello, my name is Dale Mahalko, also known as Plowworth on Minecraft, and I want to show you a project I've been working on for a couple months. This is a zombie vending machine where other players can pay me to use a zombie spawner that I've set up at the world spawn. The way this works is that other players can come up to my little shop here, and in the corner here there's a slot where they can drop in gold ingots and the, s the gold ingots will start off a redstone mechanism that will drop zombies from a um, spawning area overhead into a little collection area and they can kill as many as they want for three minutes and then it shuts off and they can deposit another gold ingot to keep it going if they want. Um, and I've also added some additional features here when the zombies are getting killed, they drop all sorts of stuff, and your inventory fills up with stuff you don't need. So there's a lava garbage can over here in the corner to throw in stuff you don't need. And sometimes you get these boss zombies that will web you, and can't move around, or it makes you slow. And this is an area where other players can't build, so they can't remove cobwebs if they get webbed. But I figured out that water will remove cobwebs. So I have water source blocks that are controlled by pistons in all four corners of this um, sh this vending area. And if we push this button, it temporarily floods the area with water and wipes out the cobwebs. And then also, sometimes you get a boss monster that you just can't kill. And so I have an area little they can hide from the monster, get away from it here. And if you there's nothing you can do to get rid of the monster, well... We've got an instant kill button here. You push this button, and the floor drops out underneath the zombie, and they fall into lava. So that gets rid of any of the, the ultra bosses that you just can't deal with. Okay, so how does this work? When you throw a gold ingot down this, uh, this, um, this column here, it goes into the row of hoppers, and the hoppers act like a tube and direct it over to a mechanism to check and see what did you drop in there. And um, there's a hopper that is all full of gold ingots. And um, the way that um, hoppers work is that um, if the item can't fit into the hopper, then it will take the path of whatever direction the hopper is going to bypass that. But otherwise, if there is room directly below the hopper for an item, it'll go into that hopper. So um, it's, it's set up to reject items that are not correct. Um, so this, the first half of this, which is this, this um, looping area directly below here, this empties out the dispenser so that the dispenser can never be filled up with junk items. If I go over here in the corner and I throw in an unwanted item, like a stick. Here, I'll throw a stick in here. That goes into the dispenser and fires off the system and it ejects the stick out of the dispenser, so it's it's discarded. Now, I, I have put a little pool of lava down there in the past that will burn up the item, but this way people can at least see what's going on. So if I throw a whole pile of sticks, it'll just pulse continuously to eject all the unwanted items out of the dispenser. Okay, now we're in the lower part of the mechanism, and a gold ingot passes through the hoppers, and it gets to this point right here, and this hopper right in front of me here, this has gold ingots that fill up all the slots inside of it, and we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 items in this hopper. This sets, sends out a signal on the comparator here, which is just not quite strong enough to, to pass any further and activate the mechanism. But when the gold ingot is dropped in here, it goes just a little bit higher, and the signal is strong enough to set off a repeater, which sends out a signal which allows a, one ingot to drop down into the hopper below and that ingot is sent off to a collection chest over there. So that's that's where the payment collects for this shop. And then when the level drops by one, the comparator circuit turns off, and it's ready for another ingot to be tossed in. 
And now if we travel underneath here to the other side here, um, on the other side, it's kind of cramped, hard to move around. On the other side, when the um, hopper comparator fires off, it passes the item out, and it also sends a signal down that goes to two droppers that are facing each other. Or, um, and so inside this dropper we have a, an item, a piece of clear glass, but it really can be any item. And when the signal reaches the dropper, it says spit this item out and spit it into the other dropper next to you. And um, next to each dropper there's a comparator. And the comparator can read the whatever is inside there. It says there's an item in there, and so it's sending out a signal. And so when this fires off, it moves the item over to the other dropper and turns this comparator on and turns that one off. And this right here acts as a memory cell to remember what the vending machine has been doing. So when it moves the item over, this side will stay on continuously until another signal comes through from this redstone torch to move the item back over to the other side. So when it moves over, it stays on and it supplies a continuous signal until a signal is received over here to move back and then it turns off. Okay, so the signal coming out of the um, dropper over here, oh and I should mention this is referred to as a flip-flop in digital electronics. That's what these four blocks are mimicking right here. Um, so when, when the signal comes out of the flip-flop, I should say, it travels down it goes through two note blocks which go thump thump to let the player know that the ingot was accepted and it goes to a piece of track which is operated by the redstone here and it causes this minecart to start moving along the track as the minecart starts traveling it passes over a detector rail and that detector rail sends out a signal which goes over here and starts up the dispensing system. Now also, um, also I have it set up so that there's redstone that goes up to another set of note blocks up high, and those note blocks also tell the player that the timer has started. Um, and additionally, it's hard to see right here, but there's a path that travels up these steps from that detector rail, so it travels up these steps and around and over here, and oh, here's this torch right here. So um, that's what turns this off and pushes it back over to the starting position. So redstone signal comes in from gold ingot, travels down, starts the minecart moving, crosses the detector Ooh. rail, sends the signal back up to the top, moves it back over and resets this to the starting point to get ready for the next gold ingot. Okay, so the minecart is starting moving and it will keep going up this track. It goes up and up and up until it gets to the top of a column of cobwebs. And minecarts fall very slowly through cobwebs. So, so this is the timer to time how long the machine should run. So by the time it descends through those cobwebs, it's about three minutes and then it's time to turn off the machine. Okay, so how does the machine start dispensing the zombies? Well, on this side, this is the detector rail that the, is crossed by the minecart, and that detector rail sends a signal over here to a torch to hold up it's another set of dispensers fa or droppers facing each other. And once again, when that signal reaches this first dropper, it causes the item to move over here, and it turns on this side of the circuit here. And so this side is what passes out and goes way up in the air up there to so the zombies coming out. And it will continue running until it receives a signal to move back over to the other side. Okay, so how does it reset? Well, after the minecart has fallen down through the cobwebs, we have another detector rail down here. This detector rail sends out a signal which passes through a NAND gate, which I'll explain in a moment here. And when it passes through that, 
it sends a signal to this uh, one right here to move the item back over to the other side and turn off the, 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 the zombie dispenser. Now, what is the purpose of this right here? Well, I actually wanted to make it so that if you really wanted to, you could throw in an extra ingot to get extra time while the zombies are coming in. So, um, what happens is you throw in your gold ingot, it goes down in, it triggers off the flip-flop over there, the minecart goes over here and it crosses the tector to turn that thing off, and then it goes up and it starts the timing cycle. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually throw another ingot into the dispenser over, th into the um, vending uh, acceptor over there, and it will go down and it will turn on the flip-flop again. So that flip-flop will stay on while the minecart is falling down through the cobwebs here. And once it reaches the bottom here, when it crosses the detector rail here, it won't do anything. Because since that logic gate is on over, or the um, flip-flop is on over there, it is sending out a signal underneath the track here, passing up over here, right here, to so this torch right here. So that if there's an item in there, this side is not activated. And so when the signal comes out over here, if this side is not activated, it does not send a signal out to turn off the dispenser. It just keeps on running. So I have I've basically designed a, a memory into this thing so that if you want, after th you hear the, f the ding dong, the, the two um, music blocks up at the top, you can just toss in another ingot and it'll just keep running. You don't have to have the wait for it to start and stop. It'll just keep running continuously. The, it, the minecart will go around the loop, come down, turn off, accept the ingot you threw in there, then you can throw in another ingot and it'll keep going. And then the signal that comes out here, this go, this travels up a long chain of redstone here. And I have redstone operated metal doors up at the top. So when the dispenser starts, the doors will close from the redstone signal so that the player is protected from other people coming in and stealing his zombies. And then also, there's a very long redstone signal here. It continues from the doors. It travels underneath over here to the back side. And this is a huge, um, I almost call it a redstone stairway. Um, I will go back to the um, get out of here. So when we go to the back side, That redstone signal comes out and it travels basically straight up to the top here to the top of this cubit way up here. Um, and so how does the dispenser work? Well, it's very simple really. Up here. You have to take out one of my... Um, there we go, take out a stone block. Okay, so inside here, I simply have a redstone lamp powered by redstone signal. As long as the redstone signal is on, the lamp is on. And zombies and all that don't come out of spawners when it's bright. So, it's very simple. When you want them to start spawning, you turn off the redstone signal, and the zombies start appearing, and they appear in a pool of water. So when they appear, they come in here, they slide over to the corner, and they fall down right here so the player can start killing them. And that's really all it takes. Thanks for watching!